It feels like I never left. Pressure's big this morning, Thursday. We've got the one day tomorrow to finalise everything before I'm away. So I really need to kick into gear this morning and straight away assess jobs and which order they need to be done in and then get cracking with the naggy like pit because uh, I don't know how many jobs I've got to do straight off the bat this morning because I can't hardly remember what I did last night yes it's, it's that bad and my tummy's growling at me oh I haven't even got time for breakfast I'll make an exception today though right I'm gonna go and assess the jobs and uh, we'll take it from there how do folks Thursday evening approaching nine o'clock in fact I've got a celebratory cider somewhere here it is look excuse me while I enjoy a swig oh I've earned that so in keeping with the past couple of days and the fact that I've got a lot on I thought we'd just again do a quick recap of the progress made so far today and uh, keep it short and sweet so I'm going to flip the camera around and I will walk you through everything that I've managed to get done today. Uh, it's been a long day, but I feel we've got a lot closer and tomorrow, of course, is the last day, apart from the move. Anyway, let's take a look. So starting up in the uh, pub, back of the bar, You'll notice I took away the trip hazard of the steps and replaced it with a ramp. That's something that I fell over a couple of times. So of course, I didn't want any of the staff to have an ill-fated accident um, and spill drinks, basically. That's how tight I am. Um, in the alcove here, which is where we're gonna like do all the crisps and stuff, if you know what I mean, and the till's gonna sit here. I've installed a 13 amps twin socket with USB connectors in there and underneath for the fridge we've also... Hello mate. Alright. Yeah, here. This is the right stuff in it. For cleaning lines? Yeah. Yeah. More than shoving anything else in it. Uh, no, just that and water. Dilute it. Cool. Alright mate. Yeah, so underneath there as well we've got a double socket for the chiller and anything else that needs to run so there will be a spare socket down there and then also on this side which is yet to be painted the edge of the bar we've got another double just because i can you know makes sense managed to finish off all of the shelving underneath the bar that's all it's gonna get i know it's not pretty but uh, it's functional like I said, we've put this ramp in up here. Come to the top, I spurred off, installed another twin socket there because we're going to have the fridge and the LED lights into this one on the back. So I thought if Stuart wants to have a tablet or anything up here for um, another POS or till system, that's something that he can do in the future. Uh, this back wall, I've managed to cut another piece of door to fill in this gap on the side, and I've also got this little section hopefully to go into the top and fill that little bit up. And then across here, we've screwed on the radiator cover, pallet wood radiator cover, finished that off. Finally got the last piece of the door in that corner there, number 20. Let's see if anybody's in. No, nope, nobody's in. Hello. Oh. Um, what we've done down here, nothing much really. Bit of a tidy up. I still got a lot of glossing to do on the windows. Double check the doors are locked before I go. So, if we go downstairs, um, you'll be able to see that we've got Stuart down here still painting. And he's doing the ladies' toilets at the minute. He's going for a beach hut theme. So over here, we've got Gemma locking the door. If you just push the handle down and it doesn't open, it's a, it's a winner. Uh, we picked up a rug, a mat for as you come in, and then I've spent a lot of time this afternoon installing door closers. This is a white one to match the PVC door, and then I've put another three in the toilets. So we'll just take a quick peek at how I've installed these. 
This one had to be mounted on the outside because uh, it was messing with the wall in there. So it was clashing with the wall, so I had to install it there. It seems to work though. That one in the corner, I noticed with these, the further you put them towards the hinge, the lighter the door is to open. So you don't have to really force it. And then if we go to the ladies, you can see the bright colours of the beach huts, aka the ladies' toilette. And we can see in the top corner, we've also got the door closer there. Right, we'll leave you to it. Give us a wave. Don't give us a wave then. <laughs> okay, through the snappy door, which we will adjust. Oh, I've just noticed Stuart's also painted the cupboard doors under the stairs. Well, that's, uh, that's another job done. And then shooting up here, following Jen Bomb. She's brought all the stools across. We got the radiator covers fixed on here as well. These aren't pallet wood, but they're near as damn it. They look pretty good. And then if we go through the kitchen, down the tradesman's entrance, into the cellar, you'll see what I've just done. I started this project at half past eight, finished it at nine. Absolutely blitzed it. Stuart's brought a load of the beer in. It's on the stillage, ready for next Wednesday. That should be nice and settled, prepared to go. And then in here, I've, uh, I've installed a drainage channel so we can keep this place nice and clean with the hose pipe on a, on a regular basis. I've had the spirit level onto it as well. So it's got a nice little fall into the soak away. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that to be honest, because it wasn't an easy task on this floor. In fact, it was a downright bar steward. So we've also got some cider boxes in. A nice little selection of cider for you folks. If you're curious as to what we're going to have on on opening night. Well, there's a sneak peek. So they'll be pumped upstairs via the cider board there. All these lines are sat with the Guardian in that uh, that Robbie brought me. Cheers again, Rob. That's doing its job. There's a bit left because I've, I'm gonna fill the cask lines as well. So I'm gonna isolate the lights in here, turn it off and shut the door to keep it cool and to keep anyone out so they don't stand on my cement. So that's pretty much what we've got done today. I'm sure there's one or two jobs missing that I've forgotten to mention, but we'll pick that up maybe on tomorrow's recap before we sign off for the week. So thanks for subbing folks, click the button if you haven't, ring the little icon bell and then you'll know when the updates go up of course. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter, you can support me on Patreon, all with the tag HarryBrew69. And we will see you tomorrow. Cheers. Hello, mate. Hi. Yeah, you. Doing the right stuff, For cleaning lines? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's anything else in it? Uh, no, just that and water. Dilute it. Go. All right, mate. Okay.